everyone, Joel Anson here. Today I'm in Cheltenham. Cheltenham. I would say Chettleham, but Cheltenham. Uh, UK guys, my first time kind of in this area, outside Fat Tony's Pizzeria, Fat Tony's Pizzeria. So here we're doing the biggest, yes, we're going to attempt to eat the biggest, largest pizza in the United Kingdom. This thing is 34 inches in diameter. I've actually never had a pizza that big. So this is one of their four locations kind of in the surrounding. Um, basically, I get to pick the toppings. That being said, they do a whole bunch of kind of like specialty kinds, specialty pizzas. I'm definitely gonna do like either half and half, maybe quarters or something. I'm most likely just gonna say like, hey, what's your favorite, um, you know, or what's the best, that kind of whatever, and kind of go from there. Um, besides that, uh, I know we are on the quest for the free pizza. Um, it is the equivalent, so I believe two or three of their like biggest, biggest, biggest pizzas. I think I have that right. Uh, but besides that, yeah, hope for a free pizza. I'll give you some more details here momentarily. I know it is a one hour time limit um, and a very, very large pizza. I don't know exact weight, but I heard somebody once say they speculated it was five kilograms. Don't hold me to it. I don't know, that's just what was rumored. Um, and no one's been able to eat one of these from my understanding. So we'll go try this out. I'm excited for some pizza. I've never actually had pizza in the UK since I just got here. Uh, that being said, very Italian. The owners are Italian through and through, and uh, I'm excited to give it a shot. So with that, let's head on in, let's have some fun, and let's eat some food. All right, Ron, so here we are with the pizza, the United Kingdom's biggest at 34 inches. Darren, you've created a big one, that's for sure. So I'm here with Darren. Darren is the uh, owner, or one of the owners here at Fat Tony's, named after his fat Italian uncle. His words, not mine, not mine. So Mr. Darren, tell me the flavors we have in front of us because I told them basically like, hey, just pick like the best, give me the classics and the most popular. We got some diversity. So what do we have here, my friend? So we've got four different ways. We start off with speck and mascarpone. Okay. Speck being a smoked Italian ham, a bit like prosciutto. Okay. Uh, mascarpone being cream cheese. Beautiful. We're going for quattro stagioni. Um, ham, mushrooms, artichokes, olives, all mixed together. In Italy, it's probably known more as Capricciosa. Okay. Then we've got La Puttanesca. Tuna, anchovies, olives, capers, caramelized onions. It's gonna be the first time I've ever had anchovies or any kind of fish on a pizza. So that'll be delicious, but probably a little interesting for me. Uh, we've finished off with the classic margarita with extra buffalo mozzarella. Awesome, guys. I do love a good margarita. I mean, that's like basil, cheese, Buffalo mozzarella, probably nice and creamy. Yep. So hey, my friend, I'm looking forward to this. It looks really delicious. And uh, so thank you. I know you're busy in the kitchen. I'll let you get back to work there. But at that, guys, let's get started here just momentarily. All right, everyone, so I think we might as well get started. Like I said, a very, very, very large pizza. I do have some uh, beverages. I have some waters. I have some Diet Coke. I do some of their extra sauces. Now this is really cool, they said, so their sauce here is slightly different than probably what I'm used to. I actually don't do a, a cook sauce here, this is more like a raw sauce. So I'm excited to give that a try. I do love me a good tomato sauce, whatever you want to call it, tomato. And uh, I got some of their other sauces here as well. These are husband sauces, I have a, a sweet chili sauce. They make these here. I have their apparently incredibly spicy ghost chili jam jam, which is a basically ghost pepper sweet chili sauce. Oof, I can smell the peppers on that. And then I also have one of their uh, garlic and herb mayonnaise, but I want to give that a shot. So with that, I think we might as well get started. I'm probably gonna start with this one here. Try this one with the fish on it. Because I have no clue what that is going to be like, guys, but give you perspective of how big these slices are. I mean, that is a, that is a very large pizza, guys. 34 inches. And sourdough. I don't know if I've ever had a sourdough pizza before. So at that, how about we get a rocking and a rolling? Let's say, at the count of maybe five, four, three, two, one. Let us eat. Okay. Olives, basil, mm. that's delicious. Oh, capers. Mm. I was gonna say, beautiful flavor on that. You know what? Like I said, I wasn't sure about the, the anchos, the fish, and tuna on a pizza. This is actually really delicious. Mm. 
So I'll those capers, the richest, those olives. Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Today we're here at Fat Tony's. Yes, Fat Tony's. Taking on the biggest pizza in the United Kingdom. I wouldn't even say it actually tastes fishy. That's delicious. Big fat. Try that sauce. Mm. <laughs> Herbs, guys. All those herbs. So this was not only again 33 inches of pure heavenly pizza, doughy, saucy bliss, but man, talk about the unique flavor combinations. Having flavor combinations I've never ever had before, I've never even heard or thought of. Like mascarpone cheese on pizza? Uh, definitely a crisp on that crust. But I like the sourdough. It has a really good flavor on it. Which, if for those who are not familiar, is kind of essentially cream cheese. You know, having the combination of tuna and anchovies on a pizza, again, like a little far off. I've heard anchovies, but tuna? Crazy. You know, buffalo mozzarella? Anyway, I could go on. This is giant. This is gonna take a while. But, I love the thickness of that. So I got uh, the quarters, so I'd have lots of diversity, you know, try all the different flavors, um, and I'm really glad I did because super cool tasting, super, super nice. Darren is Italian. And this is like authentic. So pretty straightforward. Um, of course, we were in the quest for the uh, free pizza. I pretty much told you all the rules and all the specifics at this point, so I won't repeat myself. Um, so this was in the Cheltenham, Cheltenham area, um, kind of like Oxford-ish, I guess you could say. Um, they do have a couple other locations in and around. I think there's three, three or four in total. And man, do they ever make a good pie. Yes, I'm going to call it a pie. Um, it has a uh, like a sourdough crust, which was super unique. Never had that before, but it was so it, it was like how do I? It, it, it was thin crust, which was awesome, but the sourdough it really makes it kind of like easier to digest. Strong cook with that sourdough, and it just has. It's a really cool like kind of chemical. Uh, process and like almost a little science behind it. That's a big one, that's for sure. All right. Which I was, I, I really thought it was cool. It was super innovative. Never seen anything like that before. Or, you know, maybe I just wasn't paying attention. Um, they had delicious sauces. They made everything there. And I've got to also give a shout out to the olives. The olives on this pizza were some of the best I've ever tasted. I don't know if it's just like they're coming from Italy, like so close, you know, in the same continent or what it was, but something about this pizza was just like fantastic. Um, really kind of unique things, you know, for those not in the United Kingdom, uh, you of course drive on the right hand side of a vehicle. You also drive on the uh, right hand side of the road and you are often served um, water in like bottles. You usually have sodas or fizzies as they call them in cans. So just these like little funny uh, different increments, which uh, I thought were so cool um, kind of that we experienced in the United Kingdom. Anyway, I'm gonna talk a little bit more about those as we go on. I'm gonna show you more as these UK videos continue. Um, but guys, definitely would recommend checking out Fat Tony's. All right. And we're just over five minutes in. Guys, talk about a good pizza. I love the sourdough. There's a beautiful, just kind of that, mm, I guess sour, like this, it's ever so mild. And it just brings out this great accent of flavor with the fresh of the herbs and the sauces. 
so good. Like, you cannot even compare this and like a take away or take out pizza. Not even the same kind of food. It was uh, a good pie. This is a heck of a challenge dough. And I was very nervous actually if I was gonna be able to beat this. Um, you know, like even eat a good portion of it. This is the largest pizza uh, by diameter I had definitely ever tried. It was very, very, very large, very hefty, uh, but I do love this style of pizza, like kind of a thinner crust. It was, in my opinion, I call it very authentic Italian. It's an Italian family, and I got no complaints. So with that, let's see if we can complete this undefeated pizza challenge, the biggest in the United Kingdom. And with that, let's tune on in and ultimately see what happens. All right. Quarter done. Keep on trucking. Um, I was doing the margarita next. Simple as the best guys. Let's give it a go. Mm. Oh wow. Mm. Mm. Woo! I gotta say, I'm not always the biggest cheese fan, but guys, I just had a bite of that buffalo mozzarella. That is one of those times where pizza, it, like cheese, is delicious. Cheese, like that buffalo mozzarella actually, has an incredible flavor. Mm. Woo, man. It is so creamy. Mm. I gotta say, I, I gotta give it to him. Gotta give it to him. First time having a fresh sauce, won't be the last. Keep on tracking, I think we're just over 10 minutes in. Truly delicious so far. I got not a complaint in the world. Very, very, very impressed. More sauce, guys. I love sauce. This is, a, this is my preferred way to have pizza. No matter the pizza, I don't think you never have enough sauce. I don't think you ever have enough flavor. I just love it. Love it, love it, love it. Especially when it tastes this good, all those herbs are just fantastic. Look, I think we just hit 13 minutes, if I'm not mistaken. Ooh, I'm probably gonna bust it. I'm gonna try some of these sauces here in a moment. I'll try the uh, spicy one. They, ooh, man, they warned me that that one's real spicy. But I'll set, I'll use it to dip the crust. People love their crust. I'm not the biggest crust person. I like all this part. I like the good part of the pizza. That's my opinion. That's the good part. But some people, the crust is the good part. So let me know if you prefer the crust or the pizza down below. Hashtag pizza. Hashtag crust. Sauce to try. I'll try the sweet chili one first. Mm. Ooh, great sweetness on that. It's a really nice sour note. Very familiar to what you might call like a sweet chili tie, but that is much better. There's more flavors in the peppers, richer. All right, so this one they said be very cautious. 
It is thick. Like, let's, uh, so I'll just try a little, little dab of that. That is hot. You're right, that is spicy. Good though. Very similar flavor to the sweet chili sauce. Ooh, but it's about a thousand times hotter. I'm probably gonna regret taking this mouthful, but. It tastes good, but it's hot. All right, next. Let's try this lovely little one here. Woo! Yeah, that ghost pepper jam jam, guys. They're not playing around. That was delicious. I have ham, olives, artichokes. I said the olives they got in this are fantastic. One thing they did offer, I personally turned down what they did offer, is the like additional olive oil you can put on it. And Parmesan, real, real, real Italian, like real Parmesan shaved right at the table, so. Super cool. This sounds weird, but these olives have a certain distinct flavor for them. And it's the best olive I've ever had. It's kind of, it's kind of a little sweeter, has a really good oil content. They're from Italy. Maybe I'll have to go to Italy, guys. Best tasting stuff ever. And in the meantime, you can just come here. I know there's a few locations in the area. I think three. Something about a Coke and a pizza. Very, very good. So we are, I wanna say about 21 and a half minutes in, if I'm not mistaken. Guys, this is a huge, huge, huge pizza. It is absolutely fantastic. But it is a big one. Excuse me, comments to the chef. Excuse me. So, let's give this a rock and roll. Excuse me, I'm gonna try this one here. And then, we'll get back to that one here. But I don't wanna try this, guys. Marscapone cheese and this lovely smoked Italian kind of ham-like prosciutto thing. Guys, mind blow. Mm. That smoked ham and that flavor. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh my gosh. Best pizza ever. I love smoked meat. On that, you get smoked, like kind of cured, like a smoked and cured flavor. The actual richness of that mascarpone, guys, takes it and like balances and stretches it out. Mm. I honestly think that may be my favorite flavor of pizza I've ever had. I've never had such like smoked anything on a pizza. And I love smoked meat.
You're right about this pizza here. Nice, man. Man, I've never had like smoked anything on a pizza. Yeah. Without mascarpone, so good. And these olives, are those special olives? Um, no. It's just the words we had. That might be it. I gotta say, it must be being in close proximity to Italy or something. But those are so flavorful. So much better than any olive I've ever had in North America. It's like sweet, nice oily. Delicious. About three quarters. Because half is 20 inch pizza, pretty much. It's a big pizza. 30, 34 inches is no joke. Actually, I think this is probably the biggest pizza I've ever attempted to eat by myself. It definitely is. 34 inches. Two left, everybody. Coming in. Definitely working. About 28 minutes. Woo! Give me some of this delicious sweet chili sauce. Whew. I got a burp. Uh, it'll come out. Excuse me. Comment to you, my friend. Maybe saying cheers is more appropriate. Thirty-one and a half minutes or so. I gotta say, delicious, but huge, 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 huge. I see why nobody's ever been able to eat one of these before. Even the owner only thought three quarters. Oh, last piece. Let's hang in there. Woo. Still delicious though. Every time. mistaken. Trying to read the time off my camera is not so easy from this far away. Here we go guys. Whew. Oh. Excuse me. Whew. Comments to the chef. In many cultures that's what that means. In the UK probably not. So excuse me. Finish there. Um, looks like roughly about 20 or sorry, 36 and I don't know, 20 seconds or 36 and a half. You guys will have it there on screen. But woo. all right, everybody. Well, like I said, I think I do have, do have a new favorite flavor of pizza. I have never had basically three types of the four I had. I've had a margarita before. I've never had one with the like extra buffalo mozzarella on it. That was a really nice addition. 
and that's coming from somebody who's not the biggest cheese fan, but every time I get a, a bite of that buffalo mozzarella, it was like a burst of this like really, really, I'm gonna use the term, this is gonna sound weird, but like not cheese-y flavoring creaminess. Like the buffalo mozzarella had such a different taste than like the traditional like mozzarella or like pizza cheese. Um, and I loved it. It was very, very good. It's almost more like a, a little bit close, mm, I don't know, a mix between the mozzarella and the cream cheese. So that was delicious. This one here with the uh, fish on it, I gotta say guys, anchovies and tuna. I had never known what anchovies were like on a pizza. I didn't know if I wanted to know. I am glad I found out, especially this guys, the, the tuna and the anchovies when they're mixed with the, um, the olives and the caramelized onions and everything that was on there along with the herbs. Like I said, it honestly didn't taste fit. You know, oh my gosh, guys, you know what it tasted like? It tastes like an antipasto or antipasto, however you want to pronounce it. Guys, and I love that stuff. That exactly tastes like an antipasto. Like that dip stuff, that's one of my favorite. I literally eat a jar like every Christmas. And that's exactly what that reminded me of. Like beautiful flavor, just the a little bit of acidity, real like nice richness. This one here, guys, artichokes, again, uh, which is great. The mushrooms, awesome. But those olives, I don't know what it was. Something to do with these olives are just mind blowing, mind blowing, mind blowing. And then now my new favorite type of pizza ever. I have my new favorite type of pizza. And I didn't, eat, I didn't even know it. Spec E, what is it? Spec E mascarpone. So that would be Italian for spec, which is the smoked kind of ham and mascarpone, mascarpone cheese. Guys, it was honestly mind blowing. I didn't know what, again, like, they said smoked meats, I said yes. And that was one of the, uh, the owner's favorite, Darren's favorite, if I'm not mistaken. And I gotta say, just that creaminess with the smoke, I got no, no, no complaints. I'm really interested in the sourdough bread. It definitely added um, a great level of flavor. Uh, definitely a, uh, quite a texture. But I gotta say, it was absolutely delicious. And like I said, you cannot compare something like this to like any sort of you know chain pizza. It's just not, it's different foods. It's different foods. It's unedible, and then it is delectable. So that everybody, I uh, probably do get the pizza for free, which is pretty cool. We are the first to officially conquer the UK's largest pizza at 34 inches, and the biggest pizza I've ever eaten myself. But this was a big one. We definitely got a. Bit of a baby bella going on today, guys. That was absolutely huge. At that, I got no complaints. Huge thanks to everybody here at Tony's, guys. Definitely check them out. Fat Tony's, three locations. And I'm gonna get the pronunciation. Chet, how do you, how do you pronounce? Chet, Chettleham, Chettle, Chettle? So when I look at it, I say Chettleham, but it's Cheltenham, if you, the local pronunciation. So here in Cheltenham, and then where, what uh, towns are the other two places in? The other two locations? So Stroud, Quenchley, and the fourth location, Bishop's Cleave. Oh, there's four. Stroud, Quenchley, and Bishop's Cleave? Yep, perfect. There you go. And Cheltenham. Cheltenham. I'm going to try to re try to properly pronounce that. Like I said, my uh, I, it's not how I would have pronounced it, so I'm glad I have the local expertise. Uh, but that, guys, like I said, huge thanks to everybody here. Great pizza. That's it. Till next time, everybody. Say happy, all the hungry, happy eating. The UK's been great. And uh, at that, have a lovely day. And everybody, while we're down in the area, we went to a place called Borton on the Water. So I'm there. I know there's a waterfront somewhere, but why we came in here, if you see, it's a very small, quaint place. That's like a bar or pub. But all these uh, businesses, more or less, like all the buildings look like this, like very, you know, shall I say, old timey, and you know, very British, English. You know, uh, lots of, you know, those cobbles, you know, stone walls, all the stone houses, you know, dating back many, a many, and many years. Um, this is quite a popular uh, tourist destination, uh, just for like a small, kind of cute, quaint town. We're about to hit some doves. Uh, wow, look at this. This is a, this is a cute area. Uh, maybe I'll uh, have to get out, have a quick gander around. But yeah, cool, uh, cool looking spot. So we'll stop, have a quick peek around. All right, made it out, got parking spot. So 
Here we have a Baptist church here. Looks pretty cool. And I gotta say, well, look at me well until we approach this building. Guys, you can tell. So when I was driving by, at least on the, I couldn't tell if the camera was really doing it justice in the capacity of what these buildings really look like. But I think this is going to like, empa, like empa, you know, exemplify it. All right, I won't show that house. There's somebody, <laughs> the windows are wide open there. But just look how, this is called a cottage. But look how old like this is. And it just looks, so you can tell, this is a very, very, very old building, like all these buildings. And just the uh, architecture down here is quite, it's, it's, it's unique. Like, really, I mean, I feel kind of like I'm in a movie or on a movie set. Like I said, that's where I felt, I'm um, similarly a few times kind of being here in the UK. I feel like I'm in a movie set or like, you know, like a theme park, like Universal Studios, you know, they have like a fake New York or some place that has like different, uh, Loud. or someplace that has you know different kind of you know themed whatever so yeah this is cool or like bush gardens wow look at this like, check this place out like these just look like they're straight out of a movie or again like fabricate it but this is real this is authentic you know what else i feel like and uh Nobody take offense. Yeah, like I said, like I said, it feels like I'm, in a, I'm on a movie set or somewhere I've seen in a movie. Then in kind of the, what I'd call, I don't know, one of the main, I'll call it the town square little area. Here we have the water, hence Borton on the water. It is a moving stream, that's for sure. I, <laughs> look at this. Guys, look at this building. This literally just looks like, I don't know, like I said, something from a movie. Something that, again, would seem fabricated. The, the coolest thing, and uh, to me, you know, the way it is, um, there's so many people out and about with, uh, uh, we'll go this way, with their uh, their uh, takeaways, their uh, from their chippies, their chippy box, their fish and chips, and it's so funny because every time people really take note of me is whenever I open my mouth. Until then. People don't uh, generally look too much, even like you know, a little bit with a camera. But when I open my mouth, that's when it really draws attention. There's even people standing in the water, playing some kind of sport, throwing balls or frisbee or something. So pretty cool. And here's Victoria Hall, where apparently they had the Diamond Jubilee of Queen Victoria. Only a mere, you know, almost <laughs> 200 years ago. So pretty much what I'm getting is the whole town looks like this, or at least like this whole area, which is pretty crazy, pretty phenomenal, pretty interesting. Um, I'm obviously not going to continue on for forever, but because it, you know, like at this point, it looks very similar. Super cool. But you guys don't need to see the same thing again and again and again. But let's just appreciate these buildings like one more time. Like just look how, you know, British, UK, you know, just, it looks like, again, coming from somebody, you know, who it's their first time in this side of the world. Guys, it's pretty cool. And like I said, what it just, what, like, every time I like look at something like this, like, I, I'm gonna repeat this, I'm sure I'm gonna say this a thousand more times, but if, I feel like I'm in a movie, something like that, movie set. So there you go, guys. Borton on the water. If I see anything else interesting, I'll show you, but pretty cool. One last shot because this looks very movie-esque. So you have this like, you know, big tree by the water. And then you have all the buildings. And then down here you have, you know, a little bakery and just the look of that street right there. Straight out of an old time movie.
Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And with that, thank you so much. You rock.